tell you what's up. I was watch a freaking on the video. I figured I could make a new one. It's not been on for a while. Uh, and that was pretty bad what happened to the that church down in South Carolina. It's people like that that make this makes this flag bad. Makes me mad when they try to use the Confederate flag as a racist symbol because when it's really not. Uh, but anyway, uh. If you like me, you're a proud southerner. Oh so yeah, I'm back again. Uh, tipping on that grizzly winter green. Uh, but yeah. Dread Monday. Monday is going to really stink. Got to go to the dentist. Get feelings to put in. Uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I was, man, this world is getting crazy, like, literally getting crazy. Uh, I don't know why, but it makes me so mad to see that. To go into a church, especially a black church, and to do that, and to shoot nine people, that's just beyond evil. I mean, beyond it. I mean, come on. But, my opinion, he should get life in prison. Think about what he's done. Uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, although they might do the death penalty in that case, but I just I cannot see it or even fathom the thought of going into a church and shooting them people. Shooting up people. Like, I don't know. This world is getting evil by the minute. But, yeah. Uh, Oh, uh, but yeah, just want to get my thoughts on it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I I hate to hear that, knowing because I've got knowing because I got black friends. I don't know how much I don't know how much it must upset them. No one that there's a no one heard that was a there's a guy that shot up a black church. That is just totally wrong. But 
but Bible does say there will be uh, lots of evil doings like murder um, basically if you read the book of revelations uh, it will really it will really go in detail about it uh, but yeah I think it's time to take back this country the way it should be run, the way it ought to be run. They should not take God out of school or forbid anyone to read the Bible in school. Uh, I mean, this has been like a couple months back, but uh, this teacher uh, saw this kid re reading the Bible, spinning him for it. I mean, that is just plumb crazy. Every word in this Bible is true. It's my little compact Bible I carry around, carry around with me. Fits in your pocket. Uh, I just don't feel like carrying my bigger around when I'm almost. Like if I'm on a good like a, like say anywhere I go, I can take this with me. Like. I've got a Bible case for my big one. I just carry the, this one around. So, just saying there because uh, the other one I got, I ain't got letters in there. And this one's got, uh, I show you. I don't want to say letters in there, but yeah, uh, everybody needs to read the Bible, and uh, but I'm just getting, I mean, it, this country is getting any more where you can't even mention God's name without offending somebody. I mean, come on. We're supposed to be a Christian nation, not no atheist nation. You got atheists trying to take these, uh, take the Ten Commandments out of the fort houses. Uh, got the woman that uh, started it. In, in the first place, where she got her whole family got killed. But not gonna go too much detail into that one, uh, but yeah, I just think we need to start putting God first. Before man, this is a road map. And I'll, and I'll say this like, you've got a car, you get a manual with it. You read it. You read the instructions. Same way with this. God gave. God gave us a. God gave us a. 
roadmap and a manual on how to to live your life. Uh, yeah. See y'all later. See y'all. Peace.